Good day, folks. Uh, just while I was researching a bit on uh, air motors and improvised stuff, and also thanks to the initiative of Tesla 500 on YouTube, uh, I decided to apply a bit of compressed air to the discharge of the scroll compressor. And what do you know? It works. It's going to require a huge amount of air to actually turn it into a respectable air motor, but it does work. Which I'll demonstrate right now. It won't start in certain positions though. Like that. But if you turn it over to a good starting position, it will run. And same with this little one here. This is my little Bristol scroll compressor. Tiny little, little thing. This thing is really fast. Probably one of the more efficient air motors you could actually make from a scrap air conditioner. I'll have to actually find my center bush for it and try and use it as a motor. Well, they do require a lot of lubrication and very clean environment, so I don't expect them to last very long. That is really fast. fun to play with anyway. I know dirt and crap eats the hell out of these things so I don't expect them to last long but if it gets a short job done, why not? Yeah, we're running out of air pressure. Generally won't run below 90 psi, at least not for the big suckers. This one here seems to work alright, but again, you need a fair bit of pressure. They're not efficient air motors, but they do work. Thanks for watching. Uh, the modifications that I made to this scroll compressor to run on compressed air or at least fit the uh, rubber bushing that I've got on the end of my air gun was to remove the valve plate and set that aside I left the steel thrust washer or check washer in there and I took one of those little rubber mounting grommets which you'd use for a similar size compressor when you're mounting it to its cabinet and I just jammed that thing in there and clamped the whole thing down tight the grommet doesn't come in far enough to actually interfere with the moving scroll so it just creates a nice rubber bush which you can seal up against tightly with the air gun obviously I'll turn this rubber bush around and it fits in with the tapered end I think this was an old spark plug insulating bush or something but that's the only modification I made to it was to prevent air from escaping from these holes here and just create a single small inlet Eventually I'll machine a new end piece or something and I'll try a three quarter inch air line straight from that tank up there. I'll try 100 psi with a three quarter inch line. And that will definitely deliver some RPMs from that rotor. But whether or not, how long it lasts is, well, not very long. Not on a tank that size anyway. But it can be scaled down. We'll see how much torque I can get out of it at low low speed but high volume 
might last a bit longer too. 